Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in Factorio. So something a little bit different. I'm excited, everybody. You know, the reason you're seeing this it's because it's it's now version 0.12 for Factorio, and that's a very big update. That's something I've been waiting for. They've added some new features like concrete and stuff like that. Let's see if yeah, right here, change log. The see, it's right in the game. I love this kind of stuff. This is. I don't know. I think that's why I, I, I like this game it's, is because just the way the developers have this stuff inside of the game. You know, it's just, it's nice. It's nice to be able to access this kind of stuff through the game instead of having to go online to a website and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So, the game is now finished by launching the rocket with satellite. So, they've changed it. You know, now they're they're moving towards an end game component to to Factorio, which is awesome. They've added chain signals; they can be used to make more complicated junctions and stations without deadlocks. Whatever that means, we'll have to experiment. Personal RoboPort as modular armor e equipment. This is kind of a neat concept: the personal RoboPort. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of you know, used to build stuff, but it builds stuff out of your inventory. So it's it's yeah, it's it's interesting. Instead of the the logistics system doing it, it's directly out of your inventory. So oh, that's so cool. Um, it supports all the tasks construction robots can do, like building blueprints. So see, like with this, I can see already building bases with like a logistics system. And when you enter that system, you can have it bring you kind of materials. And then your personal RoboPort is what you can use to build with. And then hopefully those other ones can just ignore your build requests. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. So just don't have any build robots or like construction robots. You just have logistic ones in your your main RoboPort ones. And then on your personal RoboPort, yeah, that's where you have your builders, your construction bots. And then those will do all the building. And then you can just request material from wherever you are. So if you're in, so if you have multiple bases, then you can kind of, yeah, I don't know. It can get really complex. And I love complexity in Factorio. That's why I play this game. Um, added logistic trash field to the character GUI. They supply items into the logistic system in the oh, cool. So so if you're carrying stuff that you want to get rid of, that's awesome. Added combinators. I have no idea what these do. I do want to experiment with those, but I'm not sure what they do. These allow more advanced manipulation with the circuit network logic. Huh. We'll have to experiment with that in this series for sure. The lamp storage tank, small pump, and offshore pump can be connected to the circuit network. That's interesting. They kind of did some multiplayer f fixes. Um, hopefully that will be cool. Stone brick can be used to build stone path. That's awesome. And concrete can be created, which is awesome. I want to build my bases in concrete. See, can be used to build concrete floors, which give you increase of speed. Train modifies vehicle friction. So now, depending on where you drive, You'll drive slower in sand and faster on concrete. That's pretty cool. Trees degenerate slowly when there are high pollution levels. That's new. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, lab research is now continuous. Science of progress bars of usage. That's interesting. That means 20 labs doing research with 10 units will still be faster than 10 labs. And science packs aren't wasted. That's cool. Assembly machine input slot can contain more than the usual stack size when the recipe equipment or your requirement demands it. Huh. The rocket uh, solid requires 1,000 steel while the stack size is 100, but the input stack can hold enough. Huh, that's interesting. Added updated sounds for biters, spitters, worms, so creatures. That's cool. New ambient soundtrack added, which is awesome, which I think we can hear it. Might have to increase the settings a bit on that stuff. Add a mechanism that prevents playing track that was played recently. Um, uh, mousing over a train will show you its current path of blocks. Okay, well, you know what? la da dee la dee da I'm pretty tired of reading this out. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Let's get started. So hopefully you're still with me. If you are, yay! G grab your drink and your tasty treats, because now I'm starting to watch the clock. 
I'm going to try and keep these to around half an hour, but today I don't know. It's going to be as long as it's going to need to be. And yeah, so let's give this a shot. Let's go play. Let's go. So the, they still have the two same campaigns. Who cares? Let's go new game then. Okay, so. What do we want to do with this stuff? Any bases? Normal, size, medium. So I want to do... I want to do series where basically we don't have a starting area. So maybe we'll just go none for starting area. We'll see what happens. And we'll generate everything with just the regular, I guess. Normal, medium. Um, we can do big sizes. So for example, we can do big, we can do big on the copper. Stone we can do small, we don't need very much stone. <clears throat> Coal can be medium. Crude oil, we kind of get into that, but it seems okay. We'll keep that medium, and we'll just keep the stuff the way it is. So there we go. There's our settings. Now let's go generate. Now we have no starting place, so basically, yeah. So anyways, is this a stupid tutorial that's on here? Come on. We did this already. Okay, well anyways. So, okay, okay. So it starts us harshly. Sweet. So we're back. We're back into Factorio. That's kind of... Uh, why is this not zooming out anymore? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Perfect. So let's just kind of scout out a bit here. It's going to kind of uncover the map. So we have a copper vein here. Oh, man. They're pretty big already. What the hell? How am I going to do this? <laughs> uh, well, we do have firearms, so... Okay, so we need to start creating stuff. So it looks like we do need to have a starting area because without it, I think it's just too hardcore. But let's just see here. we got iron here. Coal. Oh, shit, hey? Yeah, if we... Oh, what's that button? What's that button? What's this? Shit. Well, it's alpha, hey? Um, what is this? Weird. If we go into options, controls. Um, wow, okay. Well, let's just restart the game here. Let's go... Let's go quick game. Okay, since that was terrible. Let's go start. Let's do this all over again. So, see we did big and big. Stone, small, everything else is medium, everything else is normal for frequency. So we'll, the starting area we'll do small. We don't need a large starting area. I want to kind of start small, start attacking earlier on. We'll do that. The size of these I think will be small because those are a little bit, a little bit large I think for me. You might do medium, but the default settings is medium. We'll leave it on default. What the hell? But we'll have a larger, a little bit of a starting area. So, yeah. So let's try this. Let's try this. Hi. Okay. This is a little bit better generation. We got stone already. We have. Uh, I, I'm having issues with my zooming on my, my mouse wheel now for some reason. It's not going back. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Oh well, anyways, here we have some coal. So let's get this coal started. So let us... We need to chop a tree down, right? Actually, we can build an iron chest. Maybe we shouldn't have, because now we're... No, no, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that. Okay, so let's put this guy like that. Like that. Let's grab some trees. Where are we? Here we go. We need to build a tool for, for, as quickly as possible. 
Let's see if they changed, they kind of added new animations, looks like, to the tree stuff. Looks like they kind of improved the textures and graphics a bit. They're not as blurry as they could be. Um, come on. Okay, this is retarded, hey? There has to be a way of using... Uh, sorry, I apologize for going in and out, but I just, I just need to see if I can... Mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. I wonder if I can use this, that. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, it's a different control this way. You can actually, cool, you can actually tweak it a little bit easier. That's kind of neat. Of course, the mouse wheel is better, but I don't know, it's just giving me grief. So let's throw some wood in here. So basically what I'm going to do with this series, the whole plan of this whole series, is, yeah, I was just thinking, I was sitting here, shoot, did I you do my intro? I did my intro. So <laughs> anyways, the whole plan of this series is just to explore this new update, you know, update 0.12. Uh, I've been waiting for this. This is just amazing. Uh, I, don't, I want to watch that animation now. Look at that. It's just so cool. As you chop these trees down, let's chop yeah um, how much do we need to build a tool with where are we so I, I want to build <coughs> a tool where are we here yeah, this thing so we need iron plates so of of course we use those iron plates for something else <laughs> but that's okay so with our starting area here I think we should be able to get started we have our fuel source here for the beginning Oh, this is such a drag. I should have built a tool. I should have known better. It's kind of like survival yeah, that way. <clears throat> but the beginning of the game is very slow, so they added these animations. It's just kind of cool. I don't, I don't remember it being this cool. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna need more than one. Ay ay ay. Man, this sucks. I could use the drill actually instead, but I need it I'm harvesting the coal, so let's just have it do this. We'll, we'll take one more piece here, and then I'll convert it into the plates, and yeah, and then we'll kind of walk around a bit to see what's around us. Okay, so let's pop some more trees in there. Uh, we'll grab this coal here. Okay, and this is stone, right? Okay, so let's place this right here. Let's put a little bit of stuff in there. You can shift click stuff in there, which is kind of cool. Um, there's like, I learned new things like you can right click, see it splits the stack. There's a control right click, and it kind of you, you can kind of move half the stacks, shift, right? So control, right click. Like, yeah, I didn't know that. But I learned about that and it's pretty freaking cool. So like I'm gonna shift click this into my inventory and then I'm gonna hit E. Then we're going to, yeah, so I need two more iron plates and four, wait. Yeah, I think two more iron plates. So I need four in total. Okay, that's not a problem. This needs more wood, so what we'll do is when that runs out, we'll throw the coal in there. And so let us harvest this with our hands again. Zoom into our characters since it's kind of neat. <clears throat> I'm wondering if this is what they intended in the beginning to kind of have it be more intimate with your character in the beginning so you're more zoomed in so you're watching the animations you're watching him dig there with that stick or whatever he's using <laughs> oh poor guy <laughs> now I'm excited about the concrete in this because I want to build like paths and stuff for the cars so that will make you driving around more fun right that will make you doing other things like that more fun so yeah, I'm kind of excited a little bit to, to go driving around on the, the roads. So we're going to build roads between our different features of our bases. 
I'm wondering if you can pick up the concrete road after you place it. So if something becomes old, can you pick it up? So we're going to experiment with that as well. What else are we going to do this series? <clears throat> I want to kind of do a little bit better fluid handling. I want to kind of make a larger base. I have a kind of idea for for buffering systems and, and everything like that. So, so we're going to do that. Uh, what else are we going to do? Yeah, no. I want to play with the robots a little bit more, so we're going to kind of play with these little features of the game a little bit more. We're not going to rush to the end anymore because, well, this is update 12, so, you know, so it's going to take, it's going to be a while. This is going to be one of these games I'm going to play as, as it goes, right? So, so for example, what do I mean as it goes? Well, like tonight I want to play this because of the update. Uh, tonight is the 18th? July 18th, maybe? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what day it is. It's hilarious. Uh, this is how screwed up my day has been. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm playing Factorix. It's the update. I've been kind of waiting for this. And, yeah. I just think it'd be something different on the channel. And something new and fresh. Because hopefully you're watching all of my videos. Because, hey, why not? <laughs> oh, well. If not, no big deal. Uh, I, I appreciate you watching this video. So, yeah. Factorial is just one of these games that I'm going to play, I think, with all of you. So, see, for example, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to control right click to put half a stack in there. Let's take all of that. Let's go control right click. Let's go control right click. You can shift click that all in there. Now we're going to have a few more plates here. Once we have these plates, we're going to build our upgraded tool. Then we're going to start working on other aspects. We need to uh, make another... Well, let's kind of go wandering while we do that. So let's see here. Let's go wandering a bit. Okay. Let's see how big this small area is. <coughs> so we'll go until we see some monsters. This is stone, looks like. Okay. Interesting. Okay, there, there, there's one of them. So supposedly these trees will change now, so the train gets destroyed as you create the factory. Sounds like the ambient sound is just right, so which will that will really help for the let's plays and everything, I think. But I'm just gonna play this because this is oh here's some copper. Let's kind of. Okay, let's build the tool. So, see, you can just click on that. Now I'm going to click on it. Now it crafts it in your pocket. And now it's equipped. Now it's kind of... Yeah, that's our, that's way better. Now we can grab a bunch of copper here. Not sure how much I'm going to grab. Maybe 10 units. Okay. Exciting. Uh, research we can't do yet. So... Because we're at the very beginning, we have to basically make red science packs in the very beginning to do any research, right? And so, how do we make red science packs? Well, I think we craft them in our pocket. We can craft them right here. And you need copper plates for those. So that's why I'm grabbing 10. Uh, there, so I did remember. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to our fuel source here. So this is be our main fuel source that we're going to use. So hopefully it lasts us a long time. Okay, those guys are pretty close actually to the left of us. Well, that's probably going to be one of our targets for other resources all around us. Let's go map. Okay, so we can zoom in and out of this map. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to be going in this direction because that's where their, the resources are. We have a few scraps here. So maybe that's how big it is, which is, I think that's a good size. It's a good start. It gives you enough materials to just get going. So, yes. So let us grab all of those. I want to put a full stack in here. And why not the rest of it in here? Let's smelt those. Okay, let's see what we have to build. So we want to build... It's iron. I'm just kind of looking because we need to build power, right? And in order to build power, we'll need to build basically a pipe. 
we need to build an offshore pump, which means we'll need electronic circuit, which means we need more copper. So I should build one of these guys to grab some copper. Build another furnace. So we should grab some stone. And I'm just going to verbalize everything that I do. So if you don't like that, then I just suggest to go find someone else. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of you know, verbalize what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not sure what, what this will be called this series. So, I, uh, you know what is it's so funny about that? Is I hear other YouTubers do that too in their videos, and I always think, why are you doing that? Why don't you just know the name? And then I'm doing it too. Ha ha. Well, but this is going to be a long, long episode. I think just I need to play this game. It's been a long time. So yeah. So you, you pause the video, grab some tasty treats. Um, yeah, definitely grab some tasty treats. If you push the Alt key, you can look inside chests and stuff. And yeah, when you grab those tasty treats and drink, come back. And we're going to carry on. So let's see here. Got more coal. Let's you dump that in there. Let's dump this in here. Let's grab some copper. We need copper, and then we need to get some iron. So we'll, Okay. So we need stone furnaces. Okay, so I want to build a couple more, I guess, of these burner mining drills to harvest the other materials. So let us get 10 stone. This is wonderful. Let's get stone. Let's get stone. Let's get lots of lots of stone. <laughs> uh Man, I didn't realize there's just you know lots of little components to all this stuff. Oh, the complexity. And this is just you know, nothing complex. There's a mod called Bob's uh, Bob's Mods, which adds another layer of complexity to everything. It actually makes kind of wood useful for for uh, useful for you creating these like wood circuit boards with copper. And it's kind of like the first level of circuit boards and there's like a whole you new layer to the game which is kind of cool there's more materials there's like quartz and sulfur that you can harvest and mine instead of just creating it so it's so it's so cool um, but you know I figured the vanilla the flavor of this game you will be enough so we'll just kind of play this as it is and go from there so so far you know, I'm really digging the new look of the game. You know, kind of how it feels. It's it's pretty freaking cool, actually. How all that is. Okay, so we got our copper. Which this is how we make these guys, right? But I don't know if I can make enough iron gears because you need two iron plates for one gear. Wow. Okay. Interesting. We'll have to get power going pretty fairly quickly here. So let's take a look at this is steel. Okay. Let us make. We want to do automation, right? So if we go T. Because that will create these assembly machines and then we'll go from there. Or we can do military. Ah. Anyways. I'm getting sidetracked harshly here. So we need to create more of these guys, basically. So we need more plates. Why can't I only build one of these guys? Because I'm missing more 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 steel. Wow. I need one more piece of steel. So we need a lot. So we're going to definitely create a, a burner miner drill harvesting it there oh look at it's not even visible okay now well I yeah now I can create it perfect now we want to create uh, some more iron chests so we need uh, so how we do this let's do this we'll just grab eight of these we'll build an iron chest there's no point building a wood chest 
Oh. Looks like we need to build... Yeah. The autosave thing. Shoot. Okay, good. That works. Fine. Let's go save game because... Let's overwrite this old one. Let's go save. There we go. So that old one's gone forever. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I should have kept that one maybe, but that's okay. Let's resume. Um, we need to build another tool, which means we need more iron, which is we have just enough. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, this is what it's like in the beginning of Factorio. It's rough, which is awesome. But once you get automation, once you get everything kind of working, and, oh, what's the heck? I need one more because, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I need one more piece because of the, it'd be faster to place one of these and then put some fuel in it. Let's see here. Grab those. Let's put all that in there. Make sure, let's top this one up. Let's top that one up. And let us top this one up. Now if I stand here, it should pick it up on its own, I think. No, I had to hit F. Okay, that sucks. So if we stand here for a bit, it should be about the same speed right so yeah six it's actually faster to do it this way than it is the other way okay and let's just make sure we have lots of plates so at 15 I'll stop and then we'll go we'll smelt this load I just have to remember to keep talking I think that's what I gotta remind myself keep talking keep talking You'll probably hear me drink throughout. Man, you know, this is one of those games I just absolutely love. It looks like they've improved the graphics of this stuff, too. Like, when I zoom in on this, it just looks a lot more cleaner and nicer. You know, they were a lot more blurry before, from what I recall. Um, that's, okay, that's still functioning as it should. Perfect. Grab fuel. Grab that. We'll let, we'll let that smelt. Let's position the... Where is it? Where's that? There's that. Here's that uh, copper. Let's position the stuff there. Okay. Um, let's put... See, I'm going to control right click for half the stack. Right? And let's... It'll stop uh, functioning, which is fine. Okay. Now back to over here. Grab some more of that. Top that up. Make sure we top that up. That's topped up now. Okay. Perfect. So now we can build, hopefully build a couple steel chests. Uh, we need to build a tool. Definitely a tool. We can only build one of these, okay, which is fine. Which will be for the iron. Right here. Perfect, and we'll just let it, it harvest non-stop. I think they made these smaller too, these chests. I think they had more, but maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I also learned there's a function you can do with these in the, the, the train. You can uh, middle click, I think. And what it does is it, it, it reserves that space for that specific object that's in there. So, you know, trains will be useful, you know, which would be nice. You know, I definitely like trains and I like to you know, use trains. <laughs> so, now we need to make another box. And once we do that, we'll kind of work on trying to automate things. It's, things are kind of now speeding up a bit, right? Because now we got these burners going. We got material being processed, we got fuel being generated. Grab more plates. Let's see if we can build a, another iron chest. This iron chest would be for the copper, which that's where we're going right now. Let's see here. 
perfect. So now this will operate. Let's top this up. Let's wait here a bit. Let's kind of grab some copper. Let's yeah. Let's just grab four. We don't need much copper in the beginning. You don't really need much. It's more for kind of the early research. And that looks like that's done. Perfect. Let's throw that in there. Let's grab that. Throw this in here. Start smelting that. Run over here. I'm gonna feed this beast. Okay, so we're probably gonna run into a, a, a point where this won't be enough anymore for everything. So we're gonna need to potentially build an, either another burner or we're gonna need to do electricity. And let's go over this way. Let's just kind of run this way for a bit and see what kind of resources are okay we got aliens there we got copper okay looks like a little lake that we have here okay okay these fish you can actually right click on and you can pick them up what they do is they heal you they heal your your armor which is kind of funny which I find funny um, let's see there's more copper down here Seems actually quite quiet. Okay. Oh shit! Ow! So now we can right click on the fish. No, sorry. Left click. No. There you go. Now I'm healed. You have to pick it up and left click, I think. And there we go. Let's grab another fish. Let's go fishing up here. I think there was another fish up here somewhere. Yeah, okay. See, that will save our ass. I didn't realize there was... So there must be aliens down below. Or aliens. We call them aliens, but we're, we're actually the alien attacking their way of life. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's zoom it out a little bit more. Let's kind of be more aware of what's going on. There looks like there's some iron copper down here let's kind of run this way a bit I want to kind of uncover that area uh, okay no weird so maybe what we'll do is we'll build more in the middle here so let's see where this big lake up here is let's run up here um, right in here where this these trees are, right? Maybe we can kind of place our power system in here. Maybe start it. You know, since we this is a water source, maybe just kind of do it right from here, and just kind of go across this way. Let's see here. So we chop these trees down. Right, so we can basically you put the water pump here, and then you create the the boilers here, and then we can put the stem maybe going down into the trees here, because they'll generate a lot of pollution. So if we surround them with trees, we can maybe protect it a lot longer. Maybe we'll have it go out a bit and then down this way. Okay. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll build right here. This will be where our new base will be. Right here. Okay. So let us run back up here. Oh, look. There's some more copper stuff there. Perfect. Iron. Okay. Excellent. So let's do our rounds here. Got a lot of iron here. Awesome. And we should have a lot of this stuff. Let's make sure we keep this guy going. This guy, we've got to keep going. Okay, perfect. And then uh, let's see here. We can take that stuff. We can top him up. Okay. Um, let's run over here. Grab some. Make sure we top this guy up. Okay, perfect. Grab all the copper. <coughs> okay. So let's see here. So let's throw this copper in there. We can throw this in here. So now we're on a roll. Now we're really producing resources. 
So let's see, we can top this guy up. Now we're full. Beautiful. Okay, wow. Exciting, exciting stuff. We gotta keep this guy going at all times. Okay. So, now, perfect. Okay. So now we can start getting into the other stuff. So, I think we need 10 of these guys, these boilers. We need 10 stone furnaces, which means we need, we need 50... Okay. Well, I think we have enough iron, so let's pick this guy up. Yeah, that's enough iron, so let's, we're going to have to process all this stuff anyway, so let's just dump this in here. Dump this stuff in there too. Okay, we can dump this stuff in here. So let's put this burner right here. Let's grab another chest. So let's build a chest. Let's build another tool. Let's see, where is it? This one. I always like to have a couple extra. Okay, so we need to build offshore pump, which means we need to build these, which we can do that. So let's build one of these. <clears throat> I have an idea for how to add more to the system, maybe. But we'll just kind of do a small system in the beginning, and then we'll expand it if we have to. Because that's part of Factorio, right? So we'll do that. Okay, let's build... I'm going to use my resources. Shoot. Um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to do electricity. So we need to do stone. We already have this. Okay, let's do that. Sorry, I get sidetracked. <laughs> I have... Well, whatever, if it's ADD or whatever I have, it doesn't matter. It's just, I just know I have a bad habit of of uh, forgetting what I was doing. And just like, ooh, let's start doing something over here. Start doing something over there. It's just, it's kind of funny, actually. So, actually, let's grab some materials since that's what they're for. We do have wood. Uh, let's see, that iron chest. Let's pick that up for now. Okay. Actually, we can probably relocate stuff, right? So, okay, so let's see here. I'm just thinking power. I need to do power. So, with that in mind, let's do the boilers. The so boilers, we need more stone furnaces, and that's why we're harvesting stone. <clears throat> okay, so... I see. So I need another... Once this is four, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so now we can build five of these. Now if I right-click on this, I think we build five. See? It, it builds five. So that's new. I didn't know about that. Okay, so build those. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to build just a couple of these, hey? One, two. Okay. And power poles, we should build some of these guys. I'm going to build, I, I, I'm going to right click so it does 5, 10. See, look at that, it's so cool. Perfect. These guys are just kind of processing, so I think what will happen, we'll leave this guy continuing to do what he's doing. We'll let this guy continue doing what he's doing. Let's go over here. I'm going to pick this guy up here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, perfect. Let's pick this up. Perfect. Now we're, we're, we're reducing our, our footprint because we're relocating. So, granted, that's, well, that's going to happen. So let's go to our new location here. Okay. And let's start building right in here. This is where our main part of the base is going to be, the core of it. And we'll go from there. So, we're going to build a pump. Um, R to rotate. Uh, can we put it there? Oh, yes, we can. Ah, there we go. Right there. Bang. Okay. So, this is offshore pump. Even though it's inshore, this is, I think this will work perfectly. And we're going to place these guys. We're going to connect these in. I actually want to build a few of these pipes, so I'm going to right click for five pipes only. We're going to need more iron, more iron. 
shoot. We should have probably left that going. Okay, let's run back up here. Let's replace the iron burner because <clears throat> obviously we need that. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Um, I think the scoop thing is here. Let's let's zoom in a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into our inventory. I think if I right uh, shift cl left click shift control click, it sticks it in there. I think yeah. See, it sticks it in there. Let's take a look here. Okay. Perfect. Let's uh, continue to get coal. This is more stone here. Perfect. We can grab the stone that's here. Let's wait till. Ah, that's fine. Uh, we got copper here that we need to process. Yeah, see, I should have kept the iron going because we need iron for everything. It's one of the most. You know, used resources, so that's why we're going to be warring with the the locals up on the the upper left corner, so the the northwest. <laughs> yeah, definitely, we'll be warring with them because that's you know they leave us no choice. So uh, these guys, I have no idea. There's some new creatures they've added to, so you know they've added this behemoth guy that comes out, so that way it saves on the the processing power, I guess. So so that's kind of exciting. I know they've done a bunch of optimizations. I just haven't really played the game since the series, uh, just because I felt I would, I just wanted to complete the game and complete the series and wait until you know, this version of everything. And this version of everything ch changes everything. Okay, so we got this. Let's grab some more iron. Dump that. Oh, let's make sure there's enough fuel in there. Fuel. Uh, dump that in there. Dump that in there. Okay, perfect. Let's get back to our pipe, our project. Ah, there we go. Now we can build stuff. <laughs> okay. That feels much better now. Let's run back over here. So we're gonna be nestled in the trees here because I'm. I'm. The theory is the trees are gonna soak in the pollution. Okay. So I, I like always like to put one pipe. All right, and then I like to put my burners in. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I want to create more burners. Actually, I want to create five. Um, I want to create ten. So just five more of these guys. Which see, it's taking materials. I love that. I love that. Okay. So let's just build a full amount. Five. One. Two. Four. Five. Okay, so now that's with that done. Okay, so now we want to put the fluid. Where's I thought I had pipes, so we need to build some pipes here. Let's build. I'm gonna just right click a couple times for 10, and we just need to put one pipe like that. And then I think we just need to put another one like this so the fluid will come in down and around. And if we want to add more to the system, I think. Oh, I wonder why it connects up like that. That's so weird. I wonder if that's a bug. So this is where we can build our rows of 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 steam engines, which will just rotate like so. And we just need to chop up some trees here, so that way we have enough room to put it in. Okay, uh, about this guy over here. Okay, this should be yeah. Look at that. Bang, just like that. And there's three trees here. Okay, and that should fit just like so. There we go. Here's our steam engines. Then we just need to hook up the power like so. Um, on the bottom of each one, I guess. So we'll just do it like that. Maybe. The tree's in the way. OK, 
Okay, we'll put that guy there. Okay, so there we go. So that's kind of the start, the startings of our power generation. We'll probably build a wall and plug in in the, this side here from the, the 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 aliens or aliens. I'm gonna call them aliens because that's just what they are. <laughs> they're weird. They're different. You know, they're the locals. <laughs> Okay, so let's check up on our, our operation up here. So yeah, so there we go. So the plan of this series is to explore the new update and have fun, you know, to take it easy. And yeah, so I think we're going to, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. You know, I hope you've enjoyed yourself with this episode. You know, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So yeah, so thank you and you have a great day. Bye-bye.